G'day and welcome back to our Almighty campaign in EU4. So we've uh, pretty much done everything we wanted to do. There's only one other achievement we could get, which is a Golden Empire. So to be able to do that, we have to become the HRE, so that we're an actual empire, rather than... <laughs> we're actually still a duchy. Can't upgrade, even though we are this. Fine, I think they should rethink that. Now, uh, we want to go to war with either the Ottomans or Portugal. I guess we'll accept things, because they don't count. Um, we have a truce until like 84, I think, with the Ottomans, and 85 with Portugal. But Portugal does guarantee Tlemcen, so we'll just do this to get to war with somebody. We'll call in the Pope and Britain, and all of our little vassal swarm. Go ahead and confirm that. And just let them do it all for themselves. Good, 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 good. Alright, we did get an alliance with Persia. How far off? Yeah, nine years. So that'd be ready for a war against the Ottomans. Courtois, Jean Peur wants us to go to war with Ming. We accept. Good, good. It's fine. Alright, and Austria wants to get married. Let's actually go take a look. Uh, no. Where Austria ended up with one province in Fart. He's still a Habsburg. Cool. Alright, and everybody is told to do siege. Alright, the thing I was wondering about before, we got an answer to it. Uh, Brabant was in a PU under us. He is now just a regular old vassal. So you do lose your PUs when you revoke the privilegia, which kind of sucks. I'd rather just be able to inherit them. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Now I did add France and the rest of Iberia and little bits of Russia to the HRE. Uh, I think the only thing I couldn't add was Sabshkit because it's still Sunni instead of being Christian. We've got the full imperial authority anyway. Oh, you took Moscow, did you? Cheeky bastard. Don't we have somebody on the way? This guy was supposed to be on his way over there. Weird, he's on autonomous suppression, but he couldn't do it. Fine. Alright, um, otherwise, do we have a bunch of guys on the way over? Looks like we might. Secrets in the Alliance, Papal State, we don't care. Alright, and we'll keep building up our fleet. There should be more guys there. Okay. Oh, back news. Empress Consort Regency. Well, it's fine. Um, boats. No, there's nothing in production. Weird. Alright, let's uh, just knock them out. Something like that. Money's looking great. Actually, we, yeah, we've got ridiculous trade income now that we're the only people really in Europe. It's only 47, 44, 38. It's getting dragged out by, I would say, England. Now, we're going to do some shk. Alright, be easier to do it this way. It's a 14 month. -er. So, to keep everyone else in line, let's go to a couple more. Okay, and our decision. Abolition of slavery, because our overextension has come down. Alright, gain prestige, missionary strength comes down, um, tax comes down, tech cost and stability cost, sure. And stability cost for tolerance of heretics. Um, yeah, we don't need the stability cost thing going on. We will beatify a local saint, though. And even though we're in a regency, we're still getting legitimacy. Of Gorish power projection, Catholic Empire. It's all good. Alright, trade good issues. No, it's changing what it is in something. Advisor of Yeah, fine. Okay. And the good thing about this is we should be able to start taking over Portuguese colonies at some point. We'll do the thing with Africa. Mali is allied with the Ottomans. So we'll take over this chunk here as well. And we've taken back Moskva. I do have a lot of separatism there, which is fine. Alright, we're building up the spy network in Ojibwe. 
Right, forgot we were going to do the thing. We can't threaten war now because we're at war already. Um, we will not be able to fabricate the claim anyway because stupid thing. Alright, stop building that spy network. Um, if we can't threaten war, then why not just declare a colonial war? Get all our dudes in on it. Nationalism on Manhattan. Seriously? Manhattan is Dutch. It's in the Germanic culture group. Okay. Good, good. Good. Kind of at war with everybody over there, so won't go well for the Ojibwean war. Let's go get our Diplo Tech. And how is everybody feeling here? Opinion, yeah, there's no um, relative strength to the Alliance for these guys. It's the only way they could stop it from automatically breaking free. Just Diplo Rep and Development. So if you do feed them too much, they'll still try to break out. All right. Clev have unlawful territory. Excuse me. Did they still not do um, Holland? If we tell them to give it back, it won't tell us who it's going to go to. All right, Zealand. Brabant considers it a core. Netherlands considers it a core. Netherlands already exist. Or it could go to Holland. Yeah, let's just find out. We demand you return Zealand. Now owned by the Netherlands, who are under us. So it just lets us get the Netherlands to uh, core other stuff. Okay. What's happening with Army von Yelitz? Alright, Siobhan's under attack. Um, <laughs> Ming have come over. Okay. And we just don't have supply. So, I guess these guys, under the best general we have, can go destroy the Chinese army. Doing annoying things in the mountains of Kunzia. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch up to him. Unless we just go chasing him. It'd be nice if we could just go attach to chase them. Alright, and military tech gives us the flying battery, which we shall grab. Alright, new religions, missionary strength for tech cost is better. Alright, you're going to go up to Astrakhan. These guys will come get these back. There's more dudes that way. Alright, Brandenburgian Noble Rebels. Somebody will deal with that. We will crush the Chinese. Let's go kill some more with Hieronymus and Franz Ludwig. Alright, three stack. He's got 70... 100 and something odd there. He's got double what we've got. We'll catch them one at a time like this. Kill them, and then can't catch the next one. Um, let's no, we won't merge them. Well, we will now because they're gonna do the battle. Okay, what is the combat width over here? Oh, Russia lost some more land. Okay, combat width is decent. Look at that. Even as our mercenary regiments fold out, we'll have more coming in. Alright, that battle done. Look how far away they're going to run. Okay. Wait for Kappa. Alright. Um, Africa. Oof. Alright, just convert the fastest first. 
And no idea where they're going to be running to. Probably all the way back to Ming. Don't particularly want to chase them. Um, what are his forts? Are they all going to be level 8s? Yes, they are. Okay, then. I guess... We can head over there. Let's just piece them out. We don't want to take any of Ming land. Now we're in three wars. Which one's Ming even in? Ming Jompuri Imperialist War. Okay. He's got a ton of guys. Might have to watch out when we get closer to him. And New Spain and all the rest. It's all Portuguese. And another one dead. Alright, Ulm loses core on Lutzelberg, cedes it to Liege. It's not coastal, so there's no reason to do it. Don't need prestige. Doesn't matter whether we do or not, let's just hand it over. So Liege gets a little bigger. He's got unlawful territory, so we can just demand it back. I should take care of all these forts too. Um, who's he going to give it back to? He's the only person that it belongs to. He does give it to us. And we get the core. Okay. Well, that was a great event. Fabian Pretenders. Hey, Ojibwe's come over. Uh, he's going to die. And they're going to finish that soon. Tons of cash. Tons more coming in. 300 ducats in trade. Not too bad. Now, we just want to attack armies, I think. I don't know how Yakin still exists. Tributary of Ming, fair enough. Because Ming is sticking out here. Ottomans are stupid enough to insult us. Let's try and catch them somewhere. Let's chase both of them. Alright, we've lost the Siege of Galveston. That is okay. We have constant issues there. Uh, turn this off. We have some issues of our own, potentially. Yeah, it's not too bad. Alright, we need to keep an eye on them. He doesn't even have a general. Don't want to keep chasing the Ming. Alright. Um, can we put somebody in? Let's grab a new guy. Uh, 4 3 with 6. And you know what? We can do the Force March. And re repay loans. Alright, you wait there. I'm going to Force March our way right into him. And ditto over here. And they'll be dead before we get there. Or we should go help the Austrians. Alright, that was a crushing, crushing defeat. 6.8 to our 9.3. Alright, they survived. We will chase after this lot. Production research, research is flawed. We'll lose prestige. They can't win without us. Allies lost. Yes, they did. But... We just happen to be where they're trying to get away to. Okay. Let's go for a jog down there. And we'll go meet those guys. Our army's under attack. No, they're not. This is mountains too. Alright, they're dead. And let's keep going. Um, grab another. Four, three, two, one. Get around there. We'll actually cut them off. We have these guys coming this way. Them going that way. And we'll probably make them in there as well. All right, still pretty equal. Yeah, they're not very good at the fighting though. 
just throw an infantry at us. Fair laws, embrace by all. Uh, unrest and corruption, good. Well, we don't have any corruption at the moment. But we're also united in prayer. Chance their opinion goes up or diplo. Good. More victories, more victories. Just waiting to jump in to the Ottomans. Alright, and that's right. We're at war with Clemson. We're not doing anything about it. Uh, lose a ton of ducats for one mercantilism and they like stuff. Good. Next question. When can we demand support? Four years from now. At the same time we go to the next war. Abkhazia is ours. These guys are going to die. Alright, let's assume they're going to stop there. They are. There goes another 35 stack. Alright, we'll take that. These guys just go for a wander. Russia declared on Bashkiria. Okay. Do like this nice wall going through there. No, Russia wants to come back over this way. You know, Bashkiria is, yeah, he's all in Asia. All right, next idea would be for stability cost modifier. Um, what are you spending? Admin. Yeah, it's fine. And though we're going to take a ton of land here, eventually. That's right, that's the Tlemceni War, is the uh, Portuguese one. Okay, it's written scoundrels in Ming. Netherlands died, he's still the uh, Dutch Republic thing. Where is... Royal oh, marriage. Right, the peasants are mooning us. Well, we're getting there. It's going to be a bit slow. I do want to do the uh, other war against the Ottomans. I want to take this blob out. Even if we don't get all of Europe, I want to get through the Straits. Get this chunk. Get this chunk. Still have to take care of the Papal State as well. Alright. This is your Mazandran. Go chase Ming down there. Now, Persia will owe us a lot of favours for how much we're doing in this war. How, how, how? Attacker controls Jean Pur. Okay. Hey, we lost one. How did we lose a battle in Shiraz? Because he's mountainous. And he is. Oh, he's a 4 3. He should have been able to win that. Okay. Seventh Army is sitting there. It's all good. Alright, so we'll get the 4 3 in again. That minus three is a bit rough. Oh, and he actually has morale. What did he do to get that? All of a sudden. Military drill, maybe. Right, we can win that. Uh, he's going there, so he'll die. Nope. He went down that way. Alright, we'll just finish taking Shiraz and then we'll... Uh, jump in here. Alright, we'll get in... No, Austria will get in on the 19th, so he'll beat them easily. Damn it. Trading and rivalry hub. That's a really good one. Alright, I think the Ottomans got killed there by Persia. So, we're all good for them. Good stability. Ah, oh, that's right. We're a regency. Completely forgot. Hopefully, Agnes doesn't die. About three years from now, we can do the war against the Ottomans. They. 84. June of 84. Hey, Heidi Seaman. How are we looking? Our seamen are. Yeah, 40. 
Blue Mighty Colony Revolutionaries have risen up. Screw them. Uh, let's go keep the conversions running. And Brabant has died. Royal Marriage. Brabant Shack. Yeah, Regency for our own thing. Alright, Ottoman is declared upon Oromus. Again. There's lots of Ming streaming across. So, let's do a little pushing back. Some of highlands and stuff around there. Um, you know, I just want to get out of this. Jean Paul, we really don't care. We can just white piece out. They won't appreciate that we did it, but it's only Jean Paul. Might be able to call them into something. If we can't, then who really cares? All right, we will get ready for the Ottomans. Nothing else of ours there. All right, it's a couple of years off, but we should be good to go. Yeah. All right, we'll take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and hope to see you again soon as we peace out Portugal and then get ready for the Ottomans. All right, see you later.